Mike's got hockey going now, yeah. and you're promoting this record like crazy. I mean, is that is this kind of the is this the first time that you've had to go through this since you're a new mommy? Or yeah, I mean, like I've I've been busy, but Mike's been home like during mm -hmm. the summer and stuff like that. This is the first time that we will have both been busy in our own worlds, and um, but you know we we try to be conscious with. Like when he's going to be home for like a run of games or whatever. And then I can be like, okay, well, maybe I can like work more in town this week. <laughs> and then when he leaves, it's like, well, I might as well be gone too. Um, but also being able to like, for instance, having all my promo come up for the album. Um, like I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to go to LA. Isaiah is going to stay with Mike because he is going to be in town. So his parents are going to come in and oh, help great. out and oh, that's be good. able. Yeah. So we try to pick up the slack for each other and make sure Isaiah gets equal parts time with mom and dad and as much time with the three of us as we can possibly, you know, give to him. Um, but it's just different seasons of our lives. You know, next next summer, things will be, you know, slower again because I won't tour during the summer. You know, I want to be able to be off when Mike's off. And Did your parents travel a lot when you were young or anything? No. Yeah. We are, they still don't travel that much. Mom will come visit and see me. Um, Dad doesn't really travel, but we just never we never took like family vacations. Like never, not not with me and my you sisters. You never had they a were, vacation when you were a kid. Mm -mm. They they Gosh, were older. Me without a violin, this is getting rough now. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. You like, never went to Six Flags or the beach. I went to Six Flags with my sister uh -huh. and her family when I was young. But as far as like all of us going somewhere, it just never happened. Um, I went to Colorado with my mom and dad, and I think a, a grandparent, I think my grandpa was with us. But we, um, it was awful. Like we were in a Camaro the whole way we drove. And it was like 14 hours <laughs> in a Camaro. And then dad wouldn't pull over for food. Like we got two meals a day, and we jokingly, because we, we had to laugh or else we'd cry. <laughs> we called him Blunch and Lupper. And um, so we got two meals a day and dad wouldn't stop. And I remember like being so hungry, like in the back seat, being like, mom, please make him stop. Like, I'm going to be sick. Like, I need food now. And it was awful. Didn't get to and eat. And we didn't go, we didn't go on any more vacations after that. <laughs> we don't want to. That was to. the one and only place <laughs> I went with my vacation mom and dad. Vacation means hell. It was terrible. <laughs> in a Camaro. Did you get down in like in the back seat in that area between the back of the seat? And I the, would lay up on like. Where the window was? Yeah. I'd like up squeeze in there. my little body up there <laughs> and, and lay there. That's really safe, right? We get, now they yeah. make now oh, they now they have you strap your kids in a car seat until they're like practically driving themselves. I and I was like, no seatbelt <laughs> up in the back window. Hmm. Saw you sing in New York recently. I was at the All for the Hall. Yeah, I was. I was. So, I was just like, how am I on this stage right now? <laughs> because you deserve to be. But does oh, it matter Lord. how many hits you've had or how big a star you? are if you're with an acoustic guitar and Paul Simons on the stage. With right. You. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like, it was cool, the initial, like, lineup when they were like, oh, you know, it'll be you and, of course, Vince and Emmylou and Brad. And I was like, sweet. And they were like, they're kind of waiting to see on, on you know, another member. We'll see if it, if it happens. And um, then it was like all of a sudden, and it wasn't announced. Or I didn't even know until we were approaching the, the All for the Hall event. And they were like, Paul Simon. I was like, whoa. Like that's that's a whole other level, you know, of, of awesome. I think my favorite part of this show, and I loved when you said I need to stand up to sing. Cause yeah, they were all, and I was like, oh, I'm like kind of, I tried on, I sat for one of them for so small, and I was just like, I got to stand up for the rest of these. Like I can't, I can't do it. Well, it's good, especially because you had a good guitar player with you. Yeah, so no you way was I going to even attempt. They were like, maybe you could play. And I was just like, no, no. Like, I'm good enough. <laughs> like, I'm good enough to, like, fiddle around at my house or, like, you know, work on writing something or whatever. Like, but I'm not. No, no. No, no. I'm Vince Gill. I mean, come on. Vince and Brad and then Paul and Amy Lou. I was like, I'm fine. I'll just have Sean come. <laughs> 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 we'll put him on the end and it'll be good.
It worked good though, and you don't you don't have a lot of kumbaya music. No, you know, most yeah. of your music is pretty is pretty wide open. So. Yeah, we. I I don't know why I don't write easier songs for myself. You think maybe someday I will? I'll be like, I just can't do it. Let's make it easier. <laughs> well, you do write a lot of songs that are they feel like they're for live and for your show, and yeah. you know you make big records. Yeah. And um, when you're at home though. Most writers, when I know for me, in spite of the fact that I rarely perform them, you know, it's more times than not when I'm just sitting at home writing, I, I think writers tend to go introspective and, you know, do something that's quiet and meaningful. And then that's why I co write, you know, because yeah. you get together with your buddies and that stuff that's doesn't funny. happen so much. Yeah, you know? I can't, I can't really sit and like, really write a song by myself because I'm so all over the place my brain is just like oh I'm here oh man I gotta go put a load of laundry in the in the <laughs> washer okay I've done that now I'll sit back down you know I bet the dogs need to go outside let me take the dogs out so I'll go take the dogs out and come back in and man I'm kind of hungry like I'm just kind of I can't I can't sit and and do that but if I'm writing with other people it's like we just tell stories and laugh and have fun and it's a little I don't know we we stay on track, but it's like we're there to write, and it's just a good day. It I write is. with people I like to write with. Yeah, and you're still doing, uh, still doing Sunday night football, yes. killing it. And um, you just do that in front of green screen or something. People probably wonder because you have this circus on fire going on yeah. behind you. It was a little bit of both. They yeah. had they had green screen and the stage, and um, an audience that they generally like multiply so there is an audience there but then they like somehow make them look like a much bigger audience and um and then they had these like pillars of light that I was like walking around in front and behind of and like players were coming out from behind and they every year it's something different but the green screen I, I see some of the players there but not all of them just from scheduling conflicts and I have to like point to people that aren't there or like pretend I see them like do something and I don't know it's it's weird green screen's weird what's like the most of all that stuff what's kind of the most nerve-wracking thing like that you've ever done um when I sang at the Super Bowl when I did the anthem at the Super Bowl I was like shaking <laughs> why is it I don't know why live is television it? is the worst it's the best and the worst because it's just like, if you're in, if you're at a show, it's like okay, all these people like spent their hard-earned money to come watch me play, so they're already fans. I'm not having to like win anybody over. I want them to love it even more. But you know that they're happy to be there. If you're at an award show or at the Super Bowl or whatever it is, when all those people watching or all those people that are in front of you aren't necessarily your fans. In fact, some of them probably hate you <laughs> like you're just like I, I don't know if I screw up like that's that you know if I'm at a show even and I mess up it's like I've got like 25 more songs to like do really yeah. well you know to make up for it and why is it if you're singing the anthem and you do good it's like let's play ball yeah who cares but if you yeah. if you screw it up it's like the worst sort of blasphemy it seems yeah like. and everybody like I've had my own songs that I've literally been singing my entire career and sometimes the words just for some reason go away for a second <laughs> and it's like I've sang it a thousand times more than I've sang the national anthem you know and yeah I feel really bad when people kind of what do you do when you forget your words in concert I either make up new ones or I just laugh about it Sometimes words that aren't really the words. It's or like that noises. aren't words at all. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm on, I'm yeah, on. exactly. <laughs> and I doubt really anybody notices. <laughs> yeah, somebody does. I, I would, I think, if I was in the audience. But it for never the most bothered part. me. I mean, it just, if somebody forgets the words or whatever, I guess it's because we do that if and we know. If it kept happening. Yeah. yeah. If, it like, if it was like a constant theme throughout the show, <laughs> I'd be like... <laughs> Somebody needs a teleprompter, or they need to learn their songs. 
Yeah. Yeah. And how was it working with Joyce? Have you worked with him before? No. Yeah. That was the first time I had I'd written with him um, for this album early on. Okay. Um, is he it, fun to write with? He he Bill is. Bill Joyce or not Bill Joyce? Excuse Jay. me, Jay Joyce. Yeah. You know who Bill Joyce is? Yes. He's an artist. Does kids uh, did uh, Dinosaur okay, Bob? No. If you have I those. I don't know Dinosaur Bob. <laughs> really? No. Oh man, you got to check his books out for <laughs> your will. for your for your, for your kid. Yeah. yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but he's he's cool to write Super, with. Super. He's just a creative guy. Like he just. I don't know. Like he just works differently than a lot of producers. Mm-hmm. Like he just it's just more about like trying stuff out and let's see what this sounds like, you know? And it's just he just kind of allows the process to be just more organic and creative. It's a rock and record. Yeah. Sounds good. Well Thank congrats. You. Thanks. Good. Well thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Great to me. see you. All thanks, right. Steve.